guys welcome back to choose your own path so today what are we doing well we're in the shop and we're gonna do a little carving so i wanted to always make a jackfish so that's what i was gonna do i was gonna use a two by six which is uh you know uh, i just don't know it, i was gonna use it and i thought ah shit you know i gotta get myself a, a better saw to cut the sucker in so i just went and got my you know cottonwood of course and i drew out my fish this is what my fish is gonna look like um he's missing uh he's missing the bottom the two fins that go here but that's okay i have to cut off because i only have certain um thicknesses and this is this going to be the size of it you know you're probably it's about three inches thick by at least you know a foot and a half long that'll be good enough for a jack so i just again took the pattern and put it on top of the wood carve you know shaped it out now i'm gonna have to round it and everything like get the fish it will end up being a little thinner than what we want because it's gonna be a small fish it doesn't have to be a huge one um i want to try something different today i'm not sure if i can do this but i'm thinking maybe i'm gonna cut his head off uh, cut him cut his head off and then what i'd like to do is be able to burrow inside so you can go from the behind from behind the head when you take it off and then carve it so his mouth is wide open you can almost see into it i'm gonna try that this time i don't know and then add the two fins and uh uh there's uh oh yeah he's got the big i i gotta remember the name of the things is a, there's another fin that goes here so obviously you can see this guy this fin here has to be put on top of here but that's okay because it goes on the it goes in the middle and i kept this one i'm gonna try it usually i don't but i'm gonna try it and then i'll carve it inwards so it'll be in the center of this that's all you have to do figure out you know how thick you want it so i'm gonna get this set up um it's actually nice out but of course i have to go do some running around uh around noonish so uh i won't be able to do too much today until like unless i do it later in that so um yeah stay tuned um we'll keep you updated all right guys so we're back in the shop and we are gonna work on our jackfish so um you can see that you know we got issues but it's a fish i don't know we're gonna make it fine we're gonna make it what we think it is so what we're using is our fordham and again because i don't have a proper let's not say that because i don't have a cuts all for that looks like this which you gotta get one um this is a saber tooth and you can tell obviously it's got like that angle too so which is great for carving in so what we're gonna do is put on our dust mask like so always wear one because this shit is bad and what we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you a little bit of the cuts that we're gonna do um basically we're just gonna try to round it out and then you know thin out the tail uh thin out this fin because it's the only fin that we kept we got to put another one here two here one here i don't know something like so let's bring it down all right so i'm gonna put the fan or the our, our fan on that's not a fan it's a suction you put the suction on uh trying to get that rounded out look all right So, as you can see, we're slowly getting, you know, some that thickness brought down. Uh, we also want to make sure that we're getting this nice and rounded. Uh, again, I said to you guys that we're going to try something different. We're going to cut the head off to get in it. We're going to try that after. So, um, yeah, let's just keep on going. I'm going to clean up a bit here because I don't like that much dust. It hurts me. Uh, I'm going to get as much as I can get out of here. I'm going to do a little off camera because that's all you're going to see is me going back and forth, back and forth. I'm not doing any, no special techniques, just using the bit that we have to keep on rounding it off, trying to get that round. So what you could do is like, well, you want to get it thin here. 
and you want to bring it back kind of thing like no special technique just so that you get that nice girth and then you get a little bit of a curve in it you know because fish aren't exactly always straight right you want to get a little bit of curve this guy's going to be curving well if you're looking at me if i'm looking at you it's going to be curving to the right you know so he's swimming to the right okay that's simple as that Let's all right do it. so we cut the head off like we said we're going to do we're trying something different guys so what we're thinking of doing or what i'm thinking of doing now obviously the fish is going to be The fish is going to be going swimming this way. I mean, it could go the other way too, but I mean, this is the way I want it because, like I said, remember the curve? All right. So we cut it in half and then we drill the hole just to start it off because I want to hollow the head out. Um, what I want to make sure also that is this part of the body is thinner. So when I insert it, you know, it'll get kind of be on the top. Does that make sense? I don't know. It makes sense to me, but and again, I'm always doing things so again took that um drill the hole in we're just going to take our normal well it doesn't matter what burr we take we're just going to get in there and we're going to try to uh, keep it at um because we don't want to go we don't want to make the fish's head too thin and when i say too thin i mean like you know the walls have to have some sort of thickness to go on there so we don't want to go too crazy i think uh, what we could do now is we're going to trade up our burrs we're going to go to we're going to go to our uh cuts all remember you guys can get this i'll leave the link um you get i think five or ten percent off of your first your sales i mean hey you know what it's a saving of probably your shipping better than nothing right all right so let me change this out right, let's try this out so with little a lot a lot of time <laughs> little 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 bit a lot of time um we got this so what i did was um i thinned it out so that what we want is we want it to sort of slide on Okay, so now you can see that it's an open mouth concept. Um, not that we're going to get like huge, you know, gill, opened up gill kind of look. Um, we could, if we sunk in um, uh, the sides here, then the fish would look like its gills were open a bit more. But I think I'm just going to leave it at that. So next step is to basically well, push it as far as hard as we can and glue it on there. Okay, so that uh, what we want to do after is sort of smooth these, this piece to the fish so it doesn't look like its head was chopped off and put off. So I don't know how I'm going to do that right now. Uh, it might have to be pushed in a little bit deeper, I think. If not, you know what, I think he'll be fine. We could even maybe fill in some of that with some sawdust and glue uh, afterwards, see what happens. You can tell my fish is a little bit funky there. The tail's a little bit off. I gotta sort of figure out. Maybe it has too much here. That's it. Um, but it is getting there. Um, it's a jackfish. So, like I said, a little bit of the head here. So, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue it, let it set. It's gotta set for, you know, at least, you know, four hours. So, I can't do much after that. So, um, we'll get back to you. All right. Ah, all right. I'm back. So, after letting it uh, dry. Okay, so now it's, it's pretty dry. So we're working now on, like again, this is a thin, a thin jack, a jackfish. Um, pretty close to the size that I had it. I think the mouth came down a bit more than it was supposed to. Maybe not, I don't know, whatever, who cares? Fine. So we got ourselves a, a youngin of a jackfish. We got a hole. I'm going to put some teeth in there. You can see the hole. So it worked. But um, guys, just let me say that when you're doing this, um, yeah, figure it out a better way. Because um, I had to put some wood glue in that and then it becomes really bumpy. So what I'm using is a sand block. And I'm just trying to level out that uh, piece that I attached to it. Now, the problem with it is... 
um, uh, the biggest problem with it is just the fact that uh, it's I put wood glue and um, I used oh shit uh, wood filler and then sawdust mixed it together so I wanted to try to get at least some of the same looking fish of it <laughs> wood and uh, yeah it just didn't do the best of what it should have done so was it a fail? No, because I'm going to keep it. Uh, would I do it again? Uh, let's just say next time we'll, we'll do another night. Try it somewhere else. All right. Anyway, who cares? So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to, again, sand out uh, that piece. But I also want to get that head. You can see how the on a fish, uh, not every fish. I mean, it's my eyes, my view, my whatever. Uh, a fish tapers down this way because they're deadly. Deadly. Eh and they attack. So what I'm just trying to do is get that uh, front end of his, his face, um, you know, kind of brought down. And by sanding it, because this is very simple wood to use, very soft wood to use, it sound that sands down very fast. Here is another thing that we've said before we used, is our cut saw, um, file rasp file whatever you call it. and this thing tell you guys you have to look into it buy yourself one go to my site or go to the, the description check it out type in uh rasps or files you have to get this guy this i've had this for what over a year year and a half and wow it's still in great shape it needs to be cleaned very easy clean anyway it's not this video it's another video Check it out, you guys. Go ahead and get the one that has the round nose to it. So you can do this kind of work like this. And it digs in well. Okay. So, again, just a little bit of detailed work on, on, the, on our jackfish. Yes, we call them jackfish out here in Canada. That's the name that we grew up with. I don't know what else you're going to call them. Uh, you know, I just for the fun of it, I researched other jackfish. They got the big, big, huge ones from South America or whatever. That is obviously not what we're making here. This is a, this is a Winnipeg Canadian fish, eh? Don't forget that. So, again, just trying to bring this in. Again, the fish is going to look like this. So what this side is, is it is important to do both sides, but we are going to make sure, we always make sure that the fish has something to sit on so that it's one-sided that's really looked fun. We do the best for both sides. Don't, don't, don't cheap out. Only if the wood doesn't work for you, then you can do it that way. I've seen people doing carvings where they've done just half the fish and then mounted it on something, and you'd be surprised how amazing that looks. Um, yeah, so again, my style is this. This is what I do. So let's just try to get these, get these marks. Here's a crack. All right, here's a crack right there. Um, if you really wanted to be worried about it, do is take some wood glue, wood, put a little bit of wood glue with some of the filler, and we'll put it in there if we want to. We're gonna burn it anyway, so it's you're never gonna see it. It's cold outside, my rings are falling off. Oh. All right, so I'm just gonna work on this a bit. Try to round this, get this guy back the way he's supposed to look, in our, you know, for my look. And then, uh, I think the next step we're going to work on is uh, going to be fins. And then after fins, um, sorry, after the fins are done, when we figure out what the fin, we still got, like I said, we got a big one in there, two here, and I, th I don't know why, but I see one here for some reason on the things, but eh, whatever, it is what it is. So, again, simple, get yourself a piece of wood draw out your um, pattern some people use the bandsaw on their woods where they cut a side profile then they cut a top profile when I'm using cottonwood which is thick enough uh, I don't do that because I can get a round or at least some sort of semi sort of round out of it um, this was test for me to do you know cutting the head off drilling it through just so I can get through we're gonna put some teeth in there I'm gonna show you how to do that too my style and then uh, we are going to put the scales on burn all the scales on we're going to add the fins in 
and then we're gonna airbrush it so um oh and then eyes gills and all that shit right so stay tuned hopefully um that could be another video because this one's already getting pretty long and uh we'll continue on this one uh pretty much it for the carvings right now it's getting down to the point where it's going to get pretty damn cold out here carving is going to be uh slower if it is nice out i'll maybe come back out but not very often not feeling the best you guys remember so it doesn't it's not easy for me plus when we get minus 30s and up i ain't fucking coming out here um that and uh well we still have the 3d printing hey mumbling for nothing let's get this video uploaded and shown to you to what we've got and then work on the rest. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay for Doom Part 2.